welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from this month's sponsor, Ethico. In the delicate arena of compliance, every conversation matters. Traditional methods can leave callers feeling unheard, but Ethico changes the game. Our empathetic interview technique reshapes compliance calls into powerful, compassionate interactions, ensuring no crucial detail is missed. It's about creating a conversation that matters, that resonates, that makes a difference. Be the change in your compliance approach. See the transformation for yourself at ethico.com slash CPN. Book a demo, try our free ROI calculator, and explore the white paper by Tom Fox, the ROI of compliance. The Daily Compliance News for June 28, 2024. Yes, it's the last business day of the first six months of 2024, the NFL Spanked Edition. Reporting from the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times was ordered to pay $4.7 billion in the Sunday ticket case. Although that number is certainly huge, under antitrust laws, it could be trebled. So, NFL, here you go. Next up, from NBC News, China has expelled ousted defense minister chiefs in a corruption crackdown. Two former defense ministers from the ruling Communist Party were expelled from the party in the shakeup of the world's largest military. They have disappeared without explanation. In China, that's a pretty clear sign that um, they're going to a Chinese prison for a long, long time. Next up, Boeing. Their woes continue, as reported by the New York Times. Boeing has angered the uh, FAA over its disclosures about a continuing uh, investigation into the 737 MAX plane, which lost a panel at about 16,000 feet. Addressing workers, or rather reporters, at a company factory, a Boeing executive provided details on how the plane was involved in the incident. Um, and uh, the FAA said, well, or the National Transportation Safety Board, which is uh, investigating this, said this was preliminary and the remarks should not have been published and that uh, Boeing improperly shared the information and speculated about the cause of the incident. You only have to wonder why Boeing would do so and what their agenda was in this. And finally, the U.S. Supreme Court has thrown out the attempt by the Sackler family to uh, alleviate itself from liability by going through bankruptcy court. Um, The case uh, involved Sackler's family and Purdue Pharma paying a ton of money to uh, states and localities for the company's role in the creating the opioid crisis, and the Sackler family got... uh, their liability wiped out. However, the U.S. Supreme Court said that since they were not parties to the bankruptcy, they could not have their liability taken away. Uh, The Daily Compliance News will be off next week, so the next time I will visit with you will be Monday, July 7th. I hope you have a great and happy 4th of July. Thanks so much for listening, and we look forward to visiting with you next month. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.